Hey guys, I'm Steph from RockyTems.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a page in Nimva team. Okay, so first let's go to our WordPress dashboard. Enter your username and password. And go to Pages, Add New. Okay, next, uh, you need to enter a title for your page. I'm going to enter Nimba page. And now uh, you need to know what type of page you are going to create. Because um, based on what you need to create, you need to make sure that you create the, la the right template here. Uh, and if you expand this box, you will see that you have a default template, the blank no header, no footer template. Uh, some blog uh, templates, contact, uh, these debug options uh, option uh, it's not needed. You have the FAQs, uh, frequently, frequently asked questions template, the full width and a bunch of portfolio uh, page templates. Right, so if you're going to use, uh, let's say, the default template, um, you can just paste, paste here your uh, content like this and can publish publish uh, your page let's click on view page to see how our page uh, looks like as you can see this uh, this is a default uh, page template uh, you have your title here uh, the content comes here and um, you have a sidebar to the right um, okay let's go back uh, scroll, uh, you'll notice here that you have a back-end editor and the front-end editor. Um, enable, the, uh, enable this option if you want to make use of the Visual Composer elements, but make sure that uh, all your content that um, exists uh, here is, uh, you know, you, you delete it and make use of the elements from the Visual Composer. Uh, mm, you can also make use of the front-end editor, which is um, the exact uh, same thing as the uh, backend editor, uh, with the only difference that you will see all the changes uh, that you do um, in um, in live mode. So consider this uh, live uh, uh, preview of your page, and uh, imagine that you can um, change everything uh, that you see here um, using the Visual Composer elements. Uh, for the moment, uh, because I want to show you. Um, the general options and uh, all the other options that we prepared for the um, for the page um, section, we are going to use uh, just the default template uh, without using any of the Visual Composer elements, backend editor or frontend editor. I'm going to showcase these uh, options um, a bit later. So for the moment, uh, this is uh, just a default uh, page uh, which doesn't really require uh, the use of the backend or the frontend editor. Okay, so we have the default template selected. Uh, let's scroll down and um, you will see here the general options um, box, which allows you to enable a sidebar, uh, select a sidebar position, um, show or hide the page title and breadcrumbs uh, bar, uh, use a transparent header, uh, use, uh, you know, show or hide the top bar section, and uh, another bunch of settings which I'm going to walk you through it, through them. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and disable this sidebar to see what happens. So select now for the enable sidebar option. Uh, click update. Go back to your page, hit refresh. And as you can see, now we have a full width uh, page. Okay, let's go back to our uh, page op options. Uh, let's enable the sidebar. And uh, for sidebar position, you can select uh, any of the location you want for uh, right or left or the default. If you leave uh, default selected, then um, this will inherit the same option that you um, select for in the Nimba team option options because uh, in the Nimba team options, the general settings, you also have um, an option there to select the default uh, sidebar position. 
So if you want to overwrite that option, you just select here anything you want, like uh, right or left. So let's select uh, left and update. Go back to your page, hit refresh. And as you can see now, the server position is aligned to the left of your uh, page content. Okay, let's go back. Um, page title and breadcrumb, breadcrumbs bar. You can show or hide this option. Update. Hit refresh. And now you have just a page with no title, just uh, the sidebar to the left, uh, content to the right. Okay, so that's how uh, what's uh, what this option does. I'm going to select uh, show and use default transparent header. You should never use this option for the default page template. Keep in mind that uh, this uh, transparent header should only be used um, for the full uh, full width page template, not the default template. I will be explaining this option a bit later. Okay, uh, top bar again. This um, this uh, settings allows allows you to show or hide the top bar. Um, let's go back to your site. Okay, um, this section here, from here to here, is the actual top bar. So um, you need the uh, if you want to actually hide this uh, section for one of your pages. That's pretty simple because you go here and for the top bar you select um, no. Click update and go back to your page, hit refresh. And as you can see now, you only have the header area. Uh, the top bar has been um, uh, removed. Okay, let's go back to your page. Um, again, you have some options here that will only affect um, the portfolio page templates. Um, selecting any of these uh, settings for the current uh, page template, which is the default uh, template, will not uh, do anything. Um, so these options here, the portfolio type and the portfolio details, will only work if you use one of these um, five uh, page templates, like portfolio four column, portfolio hexagon, uh, rounded, three column or two columns. Okay, for any of these uh, templates, you can uh, use uh, these two options. The portfolio type allows you to select um, a certain category to show uh, portfolio posts from. Okay, while the portfolio details allows you to show or hide the portfolio um, details, details like the um, title and the categories that will appear below each of your portfolio uh, item. I'm going to explain uh, uh, the portfolio for column hexagon rounded three and two columns a bit later. Uh, same same thing for the frequently asked type asked questions type. Okay, you can uh, select the category to show your uh, FAQs from. Okay, let's uh, move a bit down. You have here an option to use um, an existing uh, layer slider which uh, you can select with from the drop down okay um, let's go with the Nimva shop slider and click update and go back to your page hit refresh now as you can see for your page um, the shop uh, slider has been uh, added okay this is pretty cool go back to your editing page deselect the slider. Now you have here uh, some options for the video background because as I presented for posts uh, and portfolios you can select um, a certain uh, YouTube video that will be used as your uh, background video. So for the YouTube video ID you can enter um, the YouTube uh, ID of uh, the video you want to show show for your page for instance if this is your link to your video um, this is the id that you need to enter so 
I'm going to enter this one here, paste it. Okay, enable video background, select yes. Video opacity, you need to enter here uh, a, a value like 20. Uh, video overlay color, this is actually, we'll add a colored background over the video background. Leave blank if you don't want to use this feature. So let's say that um, at the moment you don't want to use this. Let's go ahead and uh, update our page. Go back to your site, hit refresh. And now, as you can as you can see, for the background of our uh, page, there is a, a video playing. This is a video from YouTube. Go back to your editing page. Um, let's go ahead and try to add a video, uh, video overlay color. Let's try uh, something like a reddish color. Okay, like this. Um, also, you need to enter an opacity for this overlay color and let's try, try to enter um, a smaller value like 10 go back update go back to your page hit refresh and as you can see now we have our uh, video playing but there, there is also also a very uh, reddish color over, over the YouTube video Okay, go back to your page. Um, you can delete this, this uh, value here and you can make use of the background video overlay pattern. Instead of actually defining a color here, you can make use of um, one of the four predefined patterns that we set up for you. So let's say that I want to use the pattern uh, number four and I'm going to use the video overlay opacity of five. Again, this affects this value here. Here affects um, the video overlay color, but also the background overlay pattern. So, click update. Go back to your site, hit refresh. As you can see, now we have uh, the video playing and also a pattern over the video. Okay, let's go back and turn off the, the video background okay um, below the video background you can see the custom styling um, as you may guess um, you can set up a custom background image for your page just as you can set up a video background you can enable parallax, parallax effect you can uh, force the uh, background image uh, of your uh, page to go full screen if you don't want to use uh, an image you can just um, use a background color which you specify by using the color picker okay uh, you can specify how the, the background image if you use any will be repeated throughout your page and how uh, will the custom background image behave on user scroll okay so uh, that's about all for creating a page in Imba team uh, in the upcoming tutorials I'm going to show you how to um, make use of the uh, other templates like, like the blank um, template which is a nice template if you want to create an under construction page I will be showing you how to use the blog alternate normal and small thumbs uh, page templates the contact template the frequently asked questions template the full width this is the most important page template uh, you should be using to create uh, your pages and of course the portfolio uh, page templates okay so thank you for watching see you next time bye bye